Hey guys, welcome back to the 12th and maybe last Sky Battle commentary video. I'm not a huge fan of fundraisers. And now before and now before you get mad at me for not liking fundraisers, I don't like I, I don't not like fundraisers. I don't like doing fundraisers. I've never been a huge fan of actually doing fundraisers, but like uh, this entire origin of the story uh, started about a few weeks ago. I don't know when this video is coming out, so it could be like it could be more than uh, the actual time frame. But it was it was a couple weeks ago. Okay, and uh, we needed to do a fundraiser for this thing at school, and uh, I did not want to do that. And usually, usually it'd be no problem because we've done fundraisers for this before. We do one like every single year for various things. But however, this time we couldn't just pay like. $20 and be done with it. We actually had to like do fundraising, which was unfortunate. We had this guy come out and, and like explain to us what the fundraiser was and I was like, uh, this is uninteresting, you know. Why why? Like I, I get we have to pay for stuff. That makes sense, but like why can't I just like pay twenty dollars and be done with it? You know, like all the past years. And then so this guy wants us to go around to fifteen different houses and ask people to buy things as if it's like the early 2000s it, it, it is it is the early like 2020s right now okay that's just that's a 20 years difference at least you know so i'm not the happiest that that had to happen but that's over now actually it actually ended on the uh, 19th which is uh, good I did actually sell stuff but not intentionally you see you had you had to like put in names and phone numbers and emails and it sends the person like this really scam looking email i mean uh, text message or email that uh basically it's like hey fundraising time go to this definitely not suspicious website and order some stuff and like i actually uh checked what the text message looked like later because i uh, sent it to someone i know of course you know I, I i literally only put in one phone number just, you know, just to be careful, I'm not going to, like, force them to buy anything. They did end up buying stuff, but, like, it was, it looked like such a scam. Basically said something along the lines of, hi, this is person name. It wasn't like, this is an automated message. It was like, this is person name. And I am fundraising for organization. And, um, can you buy something? And it's like, that is the most scam-sounding thing I have ever heard. If there's one phrase that you use to scam, it's, Hi, I'm a, I'm a person, and I'm fundraising for this organization. Wanna buy stuff? And it sends you a link to a website. Like, uh, at least it's not like over-text buying, you know? That would be even worse. But like, this was, this was still looking pretty much exactly like a scam message would, you know? There was no suspicious, uh, like, phone call from a state that you've never been to, you know. But, like, it was still a text message that was very suspicious. And, yeah, yeah ba basically, I didn't want to bother people with that, so I only sent it to one person. And the guy who came to talk to our entire group was like, yeah, put your goal to 15 items sold. And you know what I did? I put mine to one, because I knew... If I was lucky, I'd get one sale, and uh, I actually got, um, I only got one seller. I, I, I got, I got, I got multiple purchases. But online selling that looks like a scam isn't the only way to actually fundraise through this company. You see, you can also go door to door, which is social interaction, and I'm not a huge fan of that, so of course I didn't. It, it was a thing I could have done, but I didn't. I know it's that guy's job to go around and, like, advertise the idea of advertisement to people, but, like, it really seemed like a pyramid scheme. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was. However, um, you know, there, there wasn't much we could do, because I, I'm pretty sure it's actually a grade, possibly, or at least maybe even, like, trying to sell. So, because they can't be like, you didn't sell anything, I'm failing you, I'm giving you a zero for this assignment, I don't think they can do that, but... Maybe they can, but this guy seemed like so enthusiastic about selling stuff. He had like an entire plan, like it was, uh, he was dedicated to his craft, okay? He has one job, and that is to sell fundraising to people, so that they can sell the I fundraising items to be. Yeah, it's basically a pyramid scheme. However, it's fundraising, okay? Um, but yeah, 
he was talking about like exploitative marketing like yes you get these people and then you ask them to buy more things after you do this so they're already like hyped up about getting stuff you get you get the cookie dough and you can get like the big cookie dough pack it's like okay okay guy you're a bit you're a bit too insane about this cookie dough business in other news a few days ago my keyboard actually came in uh the delivery for uh you know my, my, my laptop i have a laptop and i have an external keyboard it is the funniest thing because i want to like make this keyboard advanced i'm not keyboard this laptop advanced i'm not gonna like upgrade it anyway i'm just gonna like keep on adding adding things to it that are just completely unnecessary because because it is a laptop however it, it, i just find it funny that i have like an rgb keyboard for this poor little laptop that can barely run two instances of, instances of Minecraft at once. Like, I am putting this thing through so many trials of w being able to work under these stressful conditions of having multiple tabs open at once. You know, but, uh, yeah, I think, you know, I don't know what, I don't know what I'll do after the keyboard, you know, like, how can I do a keyboard but, like, still keep it relatively cheap, you know, um... <laughs> I, I, it's just one of my things that I really want to do because it seems very funny. I, I do most things for the comedic effect. For example, I made this series like a month ago. How long has it been? I'm not sure exactly, but I am thinking about continuing, obviously, since I've been uploading this kind of consistently. Anyways, guys, that basically wraps it up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Um, hope I didn't dox myself. And uh, most importantly, I hope you subscribe. Goodbye.